it's Sydney I am back it's been about a week now um, since I've talked to you guys or since I filmed because last week it was just like such a big week in my life and um, if you follow me over on Instagram or also here on YouTube I dropped our engagement video and our engagement photos over um, on Instagram because me and Fred did get engaged last week when you make such a big move in your life it's just it's a beautiful moment and I just wanted to cherish that and all of that to say it's been a super busy week but I'm back I'm excited um, I've made a few changes my hair is dark I took my extensions out you guys if you follow me or have been following me on Instagram you've seen that I've had really long lighter hair for about a year and a half now so I decided to take my extensions out um, it's been an adjustment for sure just because you know when you're so used to having long extensions and having really thick hair it's all great but I was having such anxiety about taking them out because I just heard all these stories about yeah I took my extensions out I'm like bald my hair is like non-existent and all of those things so I just like put it off for months and months and months because I was so afraid of what my real hair like the condition that it was in underneath the extension so all that to say I took them out I had a lot of damage <laughs> a lot so that's why I had to cut it so short a lot of you are probably like Sydney it's not that short relax and I totally get that but just for me this is really short and it's been an adjustment for me to just get used to rock the short hair but hey it's hair it will grow back it's not that big of a deal so yeah that is the situation with the hair I'm liking it a little bit darker I would never go back super dark I used to be really dark I'll drop a picture right here but I will never go back to that dark it just washes me out it's not my vibe I'll also drop a picture right here to show you guys what it looked like when I actually got it done and it looked really good and fresh and clean so I'm so happy with it I'm just it feels so good to just have them out and just know that this is all my hair I'll just take care of my hair as best as I can and just give it some tender love and care and hopefully in six months to a year I will have long healthy thicker normal hair and not have to depend so much on extensions it's about 8 30 I am sitting outside my gym it hasn't opened yet so I'm gonna wait a few more minutes and then go in there work out for an hour and then about around 12 ish I have a spray tan appointment so I'm gonna go home get exfoliated do all of that stuff and I will show you guys um my process in doing that and yeah we'll see you in a little bit so I just ran home from the gym because I got home super late from the gym so I have like I don't know 30 minutes before my spray tan appointment so this is my spray tan outfit probably the oldest t-shirt I own some random flip-flops so that I don't ruin my feet and then some shorts that are like non-existent because um, I don't know I don't like to wear super tight clothes obviously we need a spray tan because it feels sticky and comfortable and oh hi Kobe hi are you being good today you guys, he's being so good today. I don't know what's wrong. He's usually a riot, but today he he's being pretty good. Okay, come on, Kobe. Mommy has to go, okay? I feel so sticky. You guys know that sticky feeling that you feel when you get a spray tan? I'm feeling it. I just like sit in my car afterwards and just like let myself dry a little bit more. <laughs> this is so gross. Anyways, um, I just got done with spray tan. It went well. I went a little bit darker this time just because I already have like a pretty big, like it doesn't, maybe it doesn't look like it in this lighting, but I do have like an olive tone skin tone. So when I get a spray tan, I like to go a little bit darker just because I want to be able to see it. So I just got done with that. It went well. I am about to go inside and eat lunch and um, start packing because I haven't packed one single thing since um, this week at all when I leave tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. So I've got to go do that and I've got to also pack all Kobe stuff and that's going to be a lot because I've never traveled with a dog before so I don't even really know what to bring. I'm just going to bring the basic necessities and just hope everything goes well and also I just wanted to like get everything done this afternoon so that I can spend some time with Fred before tomorrow morning since I leave so early and he's not coming with me 
the first few days that I'm going back to home to Alabama, he has practice, so he's going to have to stay back and um, just like do practice and stuff, and then he'll meet me in Alabama later on in the week. So it's been a pretty productive day. If I get everything packed and ready to go by this afternoon, I'm gonna feel very accomplished and um, yeah. That's what we're that's what the goal is. I need to go inside. I'm like procrastinating going in there because I don't want to walk because of the spray tan. So it's been a few hours since I got home from um, all my errands today. I'm the same exact thing. I put on my unicorn slippers. You guys, I've had these slippers for I don't know how many years, but they just they never get old. I throw them in the washing machine and they're like as good as new. They're just so cute. I love these. I went to Jamba and got some juice. Anyways, I am just in the room where I keep all my clothes and stuff and I've got some things packed for Alabama. I don't bring too much. This looks like a lot just because this is really thick and big, but I don't bring too much when I go just because I have a lot there already and I just don't need to bring a lot. This is basically it. I have uh, my makeup mirror here. I'm also bringing this new bag. This is from um, Shay Mitchell, her line with, I'm not sure how to say this, but I got it off of Revolve. It's a carry-on and it's awesome, you guys. Like you can fit every single thing you want in here. It's so, it has so many like different compartments. It has a place for your laptop that's padded. It has this little, do you hear that? Fred's downstairs training the dog. Um, it has this little part right here that you can unzip here. Okay, so unzipped it and it's like got this like pack right here where you can put like makeup or whatever. I don't put my makeup in here because I like to check it because I just have so much of it and it's always over the fluid amount that they let you bring. So anyways, I'll put like, I don't know, maybe some skincare stuff in here or something. But yeah, I haven't used this yet and I got it like a long time ago. So I'm really excited to use this. I'm gonna have this as my carry-on as well as Kobe. I'm about to just finish up packing. I've only got a few more things to do, just like makeup and skincare. Then I'm going to shower this spray tan off and order myself some dinner. I'm not gonna cook tonight. I just, I can't, I have too much going on. I'm gonna call it a night since I have to be up at five o'clock in the morning. What's up guys? It's like five o'clock in the morning. Me and Kobe have made it. Kobe is right here in his basket. You cannot see him, but he is being such a good boy and it has been super easy. Um, I've got my mask on, everything's fine. We've got a long day of travel ahead of us. It'll be over soon and we'll be in Alabama. Say hi, Kobe, you're being so good. Yes, sir. You're being so good. He's so freaked out. He's doing so good. <laughs> oh, God. We made it to Birmingham. We are here safe, sound. We're at home. I got in yesterday and just kind of took that day to like get myself together. It's the next morning now and I am just up. I'm ready. My mom and my brother were home, but they left. My mom went to go get her nails done and my brother is like doing work or something um, back at his house. And we're gonna meet up in a little bit to just kind of like do things, get things together. My hair looks crazy, you guys. I literally just got out of bed. I have my skincare on, but that's literally it. Um, Kobe is doing great. <laughs> I know I keep bringing up Kobe. I feel like he's like my child. I have to like give you guys updates on how he is every second of the day. I should probably relax on that a little bit. I'm gonna show you like where I'm at and stuff and kind of show you the outside of my, my little town. We made it! We are in Alabama, the one and only. I can't tell you guys how much I missed home. I never want to leave. I'm about to just get some work done and let Kobe get some of his energy out. Um, I'm going to go meet up with my family in a little bit. We're all going to go to dinner and just spend some family time together, quality time. It's been so long since we've been able to do that. So I am just gonna do, finish up some work, do a lot of work until about two o'clock and then I am going to meet up with my brother and do some more work. And then after that, just kind of like get ready for dinner and then go pick up Fred. I am just getting back from my workout. I went to Orange Theory this morning because 
there is an Orange Theory in Birmingham that I really like, and they're like three minutes away from me, so I like to go there. Um, I'm about to go downstairs and like let Kobe out and see what is going on downstairs. Is that my baby? Are we hanging out outside? Okay, don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself. Come here. We are just hanging out in the garage. Fred is over there getting a workout in, killing it. Oh. Say, so are we just hanging out? You guys, Kobe threw up probably four times yesterday and this morning as well. So yesterday we had to take him to an emergency vet here in Birmingham and they treated him so well and they figured out what was wrong. So what happened was he ate some cat food yesterday at my brother's house and it was the smallest amount, but it still upset his stomach so much that he was just throwing up constantly. It was terrible, I was so scared. He wouldn't eat anything, he wouldn't drink anything. So I freaked out and took him to the vet and it turns out he had gastroenteritis, which is basically just like food poisoning. But he is back and well, he got some shots and um, yeah, he's good to go. He's back to his normal self today. But you guys, note to self, never let your dog even eat one piece of cat food. Not even one, like it doesn't even matter. So Fred is about to finish his workout. I'm gonna finish doing my workout and just hang out with Kobe a little bit and then we are going to go shopping and then probably hit some lunch spots. It's about seven o'clock right now. I'm just getting back from the gym. I went over to Sephora and I got a few things from them just because I've been, like my skin has been freaking out lately. Like this side of my face, uh, this side's completely fine. This side of my face is not well right now. I bought some stuff that I'm gonna use tonight to see if that helps it at all. And I'll show you guys what I got in a little bit after I eat my salad. I just got done with my salad and all that good stuff and I was gonna show you what I got from Sephora before I get in the shower and like do all my skin stuff. Um, so I went to Sephora to get the Alginist, um, the Alginist Blue Algae Vitamin C Dark Spot Correcting Peel. I've heard so many good things about this, you guys, and my skin has kind of been doing all of the things that this says fixes. This is like the most popular brush set that Sephora has ever made. It like sells out in like two seconds. There was one left at the Sephora here in my hometown. So of course I picked it up. It has a set of five brushes. Oh my gosh, sorry guys. Kobe is like gnawing at the bit, literally. The gloss bomb in the shade um, Sweet Mouth. So it's like a, just like a basic pink shade that is super, super cute. I put it on earlier, probably, I, but I just ate my salad so you probably can't see it anymore. But this thing, they're amazing. I am about to go get a shower and feed this little crazy monster and I'll show you guys like afterwards my skincare routine for what I'm going to do to try to combat this situation on my face. So I don't want to be dramatic either by the way because I know that a lot of people have very severe acne or rosacea, or eczema, whatever it may be and I'm very blessed to not have had any of those problems so I don't want to make it out like I'm having this huge breakout because I'm not. I'm just trying to calm down what I, I am noticing is happening. I'm having just like some congestion and stuff so I don't want to like seem dramatic and be like, oh my gosh, I'm having this horrible skin because my skin's not bad and I'm very blessed to have the skin that I do have. So yeah, no complaining over here. I'm just trying to combat just this little bit of congestion on my cheek. <laughs> What's up guys? We are in the salon today. I'm getting my clip-in extensions at Kate Brown Salon. Um, we're excited. It's going to be a long day of hair, but I'm going to show you guys as much as I can. I love my dark hair, you guys. I love it. It's back to my roots, back to who I am. Stay tuned for the extension journey. always hooks you up with the best snacks you guys you will never go hungry or thirsty in here okay guys we are done i feel like myself again i feel beautiful literally the color matches 
which is absolutely perfect. You guys, she did it again. There she is. She doesn't want to get in. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> she runs away from the camera. I'm back, baby. So I am just waiting for my special guest at dinner. I feel like I'm being stood up on a date. I'm gonna have lunch with a really, really, really special friend of mine. Some of you guys probably already know who it is, but I am waiting for her to get here and we are gonna have a cute little dinner, not lunch, because it's like four o'clock, five o'clock. Look who it is. She wants to show up an hour late. I've been sitting here at my table. <laughs> Look at her, yeah. she says an hour to go. <laughs> <laughs> my baby! Oh, I'm sorry. It's her food's here. I got the mussels. Keeks got crab oh, dip. I'm gonna eat all of it probably. I'm so excited. This place is so cute. Look at my beautiful date. Wow, she's stunning. She's a beauty. She's here. <laughs> back in California. It's been the longest day of travel. I didn't even have time to vlog just because it's been the longest day ever, but we are back. Me and Kobe made it safe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check back in next week for a new video. Please like, subscribe, comment, all the things. Follow me on my Instagram at Nicole High, and I will see you guys next week.